Alright, so the type of memory I have is actually on the right hand side, what you saw benchmark. And then this right here would be probably at 32 megahertz, which would probably be the same performance even though I downclocked the 3600. So what I'm looking at to try and show you is that if you look at like price versus speed, and you see when I benchmark, you'll notice that the speed difference, there's not much of a difference there, but you can see it's about $60 more. And so what I'm looking at is do you want less RAM, faster speed, or more RAM, slower speed? And so on the benchmarks, you'll see that the speed difference is very insignificant. And you can see that the OSD comes on one time on one of the benchmarks where it doesn't come on in the others. And it is a little bit buggy with uh, 3D Mark and running the OSD uh, using the MSI Afterburner. But the uh, it was one of the best runs I had so I did multiple test runs and I actually saw where the 3600 was almost identical speed as the 3200 and um, basically what I did is I just reset and rebooted each time try to make sure there's nothing else going on in the background to get the tests to go that's why I ran them multiple times and to see what was like the average of each one so and also I loaded the tests up so they all loaded the same time so what you would see as you would see the speed difference and how that the 3600 is loading faster than something like the 2133 and um, the 3200 is almost identical to the 3600 and it's not much of a speed difference but it's about a $60 difference so what I'm trying to do a point here is that if you look at overall FPS performance you'll notice that even not paying attention to the OSDs because the OSDs every time Firestrike or 3D Mark or Time Spy or any of that goes into a load screen, the OSD needs to be reset anyways. So it's there and it's there in most of it. But you want to look at it as with these benchmarks is you want to look at the overall at the end results. And that's where you'll see the FPS is almost identical. So you gotta ask yourself for gaming, do you want more RAM or less RAM? And I would say you're going to want more RAM, even if it's a slower speed. Um, you can see that the FPS it really doesn't affect it that much. And I know a lot of a lot of games are different, and that's why I did the Time Spy benchmark because a lot of games, if a game is more CPU intense than GPU intense, then the RAM speed might matter a little bit more, um, as you can tell with the load times, where. Most games, you know, if it's optimized correctly, the GPU is going to be performing and carrying most of the load. So, just something I wanted to show you guys I thought was interesting. Um, and, you know, it's it's something to look at if you're, if you're on a budget and you're building a PC. You know, go for the more, not the faster. Alright.